Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 7 of Minecraft Let's Build Zoo. Now, today we're going to be building an elephant closure, but I already started. I recorded a video where I basically spent, I think I spent 5 minutes trying to get this running. Did a little bit off camera because doing all of that and trying to detail it right um, did not take 5 minutes. And 15 minutes being indecisive about this little bridge fence thing. So what's going to be over here is kind of like double-decker viewing, which I know sounds a little weird. But you can look from out here. Whoa. I don't, I don't know why it does that for the crayfish bench. Never had that issue before. Or you can come up. I do need to work on this, too. It's like skinny here, wide here. I don't know. Or you can get a bit of a higher perspective. Now, usually, um, viewing all the way around is good, but we only need, like, one little side here, because everything's pretty straightforward. You're going to be able to see everything in the enclosure just from sitting here, and elephants are fairly big. It's not going to be like it's hard to spot them. So, I think we just need to, you know, just do a bit of spot checking, maybe do a bit of overhangs on the cliffs things Ooh, now that's bad I do kind of like that just make sure they climb they can't climb out sorry um, maybe do it like that okay add a bit here and I did make it savanna biome unfortunately that area is not covered but we'll be okay without it actually want to grab some grass maybe just chuck some in the walls here like so it's obviously gonna turn it dirt, dirt for the most part but Anyway, um, don't need most of that. I might need the sword if I want to do a brush thing, but I don't think I do. Let's start with a water feature. I think a little pond should be nice and central. Big, but not too big. Because these are large animals. Um, maybe we'll go, like, out more, just all across the board. Okay. Oh, don't think I went out enough. Replace air. Water. Oh, I forgot to put on my texture packs and everything. I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I have just realized that there is currently a black bear in the exhibit. No, there's most definitely not a black bear exhibit. So if you watch any of my ugh, any other of my videos, instead of just slaughtering them with the sword, we delete them because I don't know, I just do. By the way, how do you do that with mo creatures? For some reason, mo creatures, even if you tell the game to not spawn stuff, mo creatures still does it. And it's just mo creatures. So let me know if you know how to fix that. I do have um, faithful 32 bit shaders on. They do run pretty well. I'm thinking about upgrading to 64 bit. And my shader has that weird issue where there's black lines going across the screen. So if you know an easy to run good shader, please let me know. Because I don't want to play with that. Anyway, let's get straight back down to business. What kind of trees are in? Is there a palm tree there? There is bamboo. That's kind of palm-like. Palm tree. Alright, what else is a obviously acacia? Palm, acacia. 
This is all basically just different oak variants, sort of. Um, guess eucalyptus. Let's let's check out these. I know acacia is going to be promising. I think palm should be. Yeah, nice little palm tree. Love to see that. Um, maybe we try eucalyptus back here. No, I don't know if that would really go with what I'm going for here. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyway. If I can... I don't know why I'm being getting all wonky here. Boom. Okay. Let's put an acacia right there. Yeah, acacia isn't going to fail me for this one. It's going to look nice. Throw that out. Do the... I don't remember the palms looking like that. I think that's probably enough palm trees. Kind of looking for big, uh, bigger acacia. Okay. That's probably pretty good on the tree front. Maybe we put one more acacia right there. I think we should put something here so we can't really tell that I... Didn't do the final thing right. I think maybe a shelter. A wooden shelter, maybe? What kind of wood would go best? Uh, that pine wood looks... I don't know. Sure, let's go with pine wood. Actually, let's... Are they in... Yes, mud brick stuff. I think I'm going to make a real simple little... hut type thing. It's going to be pretty big since it's housing elephants. Three, four, five, six. I don't usually make them this big, but... There's not a whole lot of enclosures that are this big. Maybe just trim the tree back. Oh, that's funny. How, like, the leaves are different, because... Oh, those are the eucalyptus. They fell down. I was like, um... That doesn't match. Actually... Why don't I put the trees in last? If they get in the way. So, this tree I'll break and move. Same thing with this one. So, six wide. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Is that too much? Actually, I think I'm going to have the entrance going this way. Yeah. I'm going to have the entrance to it right here. I know that does sound a little weird, but... I don't know. I had the vision, or I had an idea, and now I just don't really know what to do. Oh, I wonder... I know Zoom Out Animals has this bamboo fence. Oh, that looks nice. I can do that as the walls. 
And then the roof can be those mud bricks. Something's not right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's you. Two, three, four. Okay, um, let's do the roof. I'll do those walls later. Thinking about what the roof should look like. Oh. Yeah, okay, which way do, do I want it turned? Do I want the entrance here? Or here? Yeah, I think it would look better entrances here oh so I was doing that right um I'm gonna come up with how I'm doing the roof just on one side before I try doing it all the way out I'm thinking maybe something like that man I'm missing everything right now Okay, I think that's, that's what I'm looking for. Wrong block. Okay, I'm going to finish this off, and I will be right back, because it's basically just doing the roof thing and the fence thing on all sides. Okay, guys, I have now finished, whoa, finished the shelter. Did add some windows, put some oak wood planks, blinds oak wood planks. Um, I think it looks pretty decent. These are thinner than I thought they were at first, but I think the general look is still pretty good. So I'm going to move on. Just because I don't want to get stuck on the same thing for 20 minutes like I did when I tried recording this episode and did that fence. Because, I mean, I still would have posted it, and there would have been two parts, but it was literally just fence stuff for a video, so. No thanks. Alright. What do we need? We need plants. Even though it is more of a savanna feel. Oh. Speaking of which. So I still... I don't have those saplings so I can put those back acacia sapling whoa bam right in the middle there okay that's pretty good man that is a massive shelter okay let's do the modern animals plants do we have any desert type stuff we do have fan palms I do like those I think they might look good in it with anything. You go like this. I think that can go on the floor. What about cact? Yes, we have a little cactus. I'm just gonna throw all that stuff up there. Now let's look at biomes of plenty. I think this is gonna be a good way of. It's not working. There we go. Good method of doing things. Looking for some plants and zoo biome animals, and then looking in biomes of plenty. Man, this mod is amazing. If you're gonna build a zoo. Every time. This is a great mod. Alright. Um. Dead leaf pile, yeah. Dead grass, yeah. Oh, desert grass. That's way better. We need some sand. Sand, 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 sand. sand. I'm just gonna scatter a bunch of sand across here. Let's do a bunch of little clumps. By the way, what do you like better for this series? Normal Minecraft or this texture pack? I think this texture pack is good for the feel of like a whole zoo type thing. I 
I especially like the cobblestone. Or not the, the normal stone. I think that's a cool look. Right, let's do a big clump across here. Maybe surround the water a bit. Man, clicking all the wrong buttons trying to build here. You know what? I think this is about good, and maybe we should leave the rest. That is grass. Okay, does that, that adds to it for sure. Oh, let's put a bunch of sand over here because you can't really tell that it's a different biome because it's just sand. Okay. I like that. Alright, back to the whole plant thing. Okay, so that only goes on sand, which is good, I guess. Just run around throwing these everywhere. Those can go on both. Don't think they can damage stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Let me just put down some of these. And I think that's good. I think it might be a little bit too vibrant for a savannah enclosure. So, um, where are... I think all we need now is toys. And feeding and yeah, basically the stuff zoom model animals stuff needs, but my creatures don't. Okay, um, let's compare these dudes. Oh, that's way too big of a shelter. I thought they were way bigger. Okay, let's do two of each. This is our elephant herd. Now, what is good with them? So, die of leaves. They need a hanging ball and an enrichment ball. Okay, so one here. Um, don't know if they'll be able to get to that. Hanging ball. Hanging ball. Leaves. And a food. Pet food. Okay. We'll just put the food barrel back here. Oh, I forgot. You can change with the text. Can I make it, like, blue? That's cool. Dang it. Do I need an empty hand? Yep. Okay. Just because it stacks up? Okay. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. I do think both of these guys are cool. I think the Zoo and Wild Animals one is definitely more obnoxious, but... I think this is a successful build. That definitely looks good. So um, let me know what you think down in the comments, maybe what we should do next, and I will see you guys in the next episode.